So what we're doing now is we are cross crossing to Molesworth Street to the Backbencher Pub. The Backbencher Pub is where people who have been banned from Bellamy's go to drink and it is where people who are interested in politics go to drink and people who are interested in just good family fare. Geez, I'm not even getting paid for this. And standing, uh, I can see him, and you'll be able to see it when you replay this online, standing in the main bar of the Backbencher Tavern in front of a rather mysterious-looking blue curtain and absolutely rocking the Join the Resistance uh, platform T-shirt is the publican and owner of the Backbencher Tavern, Alice de Bois, a.k.a. Boise. Boise, good morning to you. Good to see you. You're looking great. I'm uh, looking, as you might say, fetching in your uh, merch. <laughs> okay. Now, one of the great things about the backbencher, and has been for many years, is that you have political puppets, larger-than-life effigies of our political leaders, uh, mounted on the walls around the pub. And they can be a bit spooky, I'll be honest, but they're a great draw card for your establishment, which also features menus that make um, reference to political figures and sometimes even journalists. I think sometime quite some years ago, I was on the menu indeed at, at uh, the backbencher. But tomorrow night, you've got your latest puppet, puppet being uh, unveiled, right? Yes, we have. Chris Luxon has uh, deigned to join us and to uh, cast his eyes over his effigy, uh, his caricature. The head is larger than life. The body is certainly very much smaller. <laughs> um, Boise, how long before you decide to commit to a puppet? I mean, did you ever commission a Todd Muller puppet? No, um, that was always a bit dicey, that one. Um, we've done this, uh, I've got a very supportive business partner who has um, uh, funded this one. Uh, it's tough times in hospital, as you know, so uh, we certainly don't have any profit from which we could fund it. Um, but my business partner made the decision, he made the call that we want a John Luxon puppet, so we're doing it. Chris, Chris Luxon. I know his profile's not that good, it's Chris Luxon. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you commit to the puppet. Um, do you have to ask his permission? No. They, I'm happy if they sue us. That's always a good look. <laughs> All right. I, I tried to get Winston Peters to sue me once when I did a whole menu on him. And uh, he took 10 minutes and read every word of it. And he said, well, you're pretty much on, on point. So, no, I won't sue you. Uh, Boise, you had a fire a few years back which took out many of the original puppets, which had been part of the Spitting Images TV series in New Zealand, which was a satirical show that's actually been rebooted in recent years um, in Britain. Um, you then had the fire that wiped out a lot of those puppets. So how many have you got now in the pub? Uh, we've, we, it's pretty good. We've got uh, at least 10. Uh, two of the figures have dropped out of politics, being um, Materia Toure and Honi Harawera. Although Honi did contact me and request that I give his puppet to him, to which I replied that it was backbencher Taonga and it wasn't available. <laughs> All right. Um, but Luxon makes the cut. Where yeah. have you put him? And I, it's behind you. Just describe where that is in the pub. That's the main so, bar, isn't it? That's the main bar uh, facing um, Parliament uh, and directly opposite uh, Jacinda Ardern puppet. All right. So, have you got a James Shaw puppet? No. But you've got a Chloe no. Schwabrick puppet. Absolutely. Well, the, the leadership of the Greens is so confused that um, uh, in my uh, consideration, Chloe Swarbrick was definitely the future of the Greens uh, and having this co-leadership model, which makes no sense, um, I would have thought, um, probably means that Chloe Swarbrick has more sway, even though she doesn't have the leadership. All right. Well, what is happening with the launch of the Luxon puppet uh, tomorrow night, the Luxon effigy? Well, we're going to kick it off. I'll, I'll meet um, Chris Luxon outside um, and uh, bring him in. And we've got a, a stage set up and we're going to do a little bit of a Q&A. Um, I've got a high-profile media guy um, called yeah. Sean Plunkett who's going to join us. 
Um, but prior to the uh, uh, launch, uh, I'll do a somewhat satirical Q&A with uh, Chris Luxon. Um, try and get his profile up so I can remember his name. Um, and to that end, uh, we've... Uh, oh, presenting Luxon. So, so you've gone for the soap thing. Soap you can trust. It's so slippery and what? Clean. Slippery and clean. That's it? Yeah. And you have avoided so the obvious. You you haven't made a Hawaiian night. Would that have been no, too no, easy I for you? I thought that was a bit naff. The, the, the media did the media scrum on him and uh, battled for 10 minutes to try and get him to say 10 different things about the same issue. I, I think that's sort of done and dusted. It's pretty boring. I think we can come up with better satire and better ways of getting to know our politicians, mm. uh, including just some scrutiny of, of facts and... Mm what they stand for. So tomorrow night we'll try and draw out a bit of personality if we can and try and see where he does stand in the political spectrum on mm. things like uh, maybe co-governance, on things like the size of the state sector and how to actually get some um, uh, something out of the, some, uh, something out of the state sector like performance mm. uh, and productivity um, and, and see what... If, if and when he becomes Prime Minister, what he would do first with, with, with the crises we face in just about every sphere of mm. our socio-political economy. Mm. Um, Boise, is this open to the public tomorrow night? Absolutely. We're, all, we're definitely open to the public and uh, they're very, very welcome to come in and uh, join the show. Uh, hopefully we'll have some media here who are actually prepared to sit down face-to-face -face within a metre's distance. Mm. of Chris Luxon and ask him some real questions or, or produce some decent satire rather than just harping on about uh, Hawaiian shirts or a, Coke zero. a failure in his office. Okay. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to it, Boise. I will see you there around 5.30 tomorrow night. And good on you for keeping up the tradition of the political puppet. Um, we're all political puppets one way or another. That is Alistair Boyce, Boise from the Backbench at Tavern. Um, six o'clock tomorrow night, the unveiling of the Chris Luxon. That's Chris, not John Luxon puppet. I will be there taking some strange part in proceedings on behalf of the platform. Uh, a good night will be had by all. So if you're in Wellington, why not do it? It's a nice place to have a shandy uh, as well.